Mr. President, I am deeply honored to present my credentials to you today as the United States Ambassador to the Republic of the Philippines. As President Biden emphasized in his call with you on May 10th, America's commitment to the Philippines is deep and enduring as friend, ally, and partner. We are fellow democracies bound by a rich, shared history. We share the powerful, positive ties of family embodied in the 4 million Filipino Americans in the United States and the 350,000 U.S. citizens in the Philippines. Our alliance is the bedrock of our bond and our mutual defense treaty and other agreements are at the heart of our commitment to help defend the Philippine sovereignty and independence. I arrive in Manila inspired by the bond between our great nations and devoted to making it even stronger. I feel especially fortunate to arrive in the early days of your administration. The United States is committed to partnering with you and your team as you move ahead, as you act to ensure the security, prosperity, and freedoms of the Philippine people. We are here to help. We are invested in your success. We look forward to working together to develop new trade and investment ties, to partner on clean energy solutions, protect marine and terrestrial resources, and help tackle the climate crisis. You have a reliable partner in the United States on all these issues. And I'm also deeply grateful, too, for the friendship you have shown our Deputy Chief of Mission, Heather Barriaba, and all of us at the U.S. Embassy team, even before you took office. With your leadership, we are glad that our bilateral ties are off to an excellent start. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. Welcome to the Philippines. Thank you. <laughs> we have uh, looked forward with uh, great anticipation to your arrival here as the envoy, the ambassador from uh, the United States of America. Uh, I think uh, uh, it is known to everyone, but nonetheless, it bears repeating that the traditional ties uh, between the United States and the Philippines are uh, deep and enduring and uh, have uh, lasted through so many cycles of uh, difficulty, of uh, success, uh, through so many years, over 100 years now. And uh, it uh, has only deepened that relationship. It has not loosened the relationship. It has not made us further from one another. It has, it has had the effect of quite the opposite of bringing us together once again. And uh, we, uh, to echo your commitment that the United States is committed to the Philippines, the Philippines is also committed to the United States, committed to the continuing relationship between our two countries in the many uh, dimensions and the multifaceted uh, uh, nature of our relationship between the United States and the Philippines. We continue to look to the United States for leadership uh, when it comes to world uh, events. And we continue to look to the United States as a friend, as a partner, as an ally. In the face of a very volatile global political and economic situation, it is these strong ties that we have with our friends and perhaps the longest of those being the United States of America. We depend on those ties uh, to keep the stability of not only our country, but also the region, and for that matter, the world. That stability to slowly help us and guide us through to the post-pandemic world. And so it is with a great pleasure that I welcome you to the Philippines and uh, to your, we are honored that your first ambassadorship should be here in the Republic of the Philippines. Thank you very, very much, Madam Ambassador. My, my deep honor. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am.